we need to create a file where we will keep all helper functions that will be reused across this project. And the first function we create here generates a range of number or each we can use as a map uh, array extension function. With this uh, get range function, we don't need the classic for loop in, uh, in our game. And everything related to the core of the game uh, will be inside the game folder. And first file here will contain objects that describes game levels. Let's call it level.js. And right away we import get range since we will use this to generate blocks. And we'll have different types of blocks. It means uh, blocks can be destroyed after three hits of ball or less. So we set three here. And we need the function that will uh, generate random number from uh, one to three. So we use here mass random multiplied by blocks max density. And we can create now a function that will return a array of arrays of blocks. And block here is just a number that specifies the density of the block. So here we use get range function over rows and then over columns and for each element we call get random block. Next we can create a list of levels and each level will have different set of properties. Uh, life shows us how many times a player can miss the ball on the level and pedal wheels uh, will become like smaller with each level. Uh, speed determine how fast pedal and balls are moving. Uh, and in blocks we'll keep list of densities that determine how many time ball should hit the block to destroy it. Now let's copy these levels. We can have as much as we want levels, but we will stop on four levels. And we will make every level more difficult by reducing amount of lives and we'll make pedal beat with each level smaller so it will be harder to hit the ball and every level will have a slightly bigger speed and also one way of increasing uh, difficulty of the game is by making more of blocks so let's make amount of blocks bigger on each level by increasing the uh, amount of rows or columns like this.